Hello friends, in this video, we are going to work out nominal annual interest rate when the effective annual interest rate is given to you. So in my previous video, I have already discussed about what is the, how to work out the annual effective interest rate when the nominal interest rate is given and the compounding frequency is given. Here we are going to do the reversal of that. So, but we are going to use the same example which we have used in our effective annual rate calculation video. So here is the loan amount. A loan amount of 100 is taken for all these loans and uh, the compounding frequency is taken. So first loan, it is yearly compounding. Second loan, it is half yearly compounding. Third loan, quarterly compounding. And uh, fourth loan, it is monthly compounding. Like that we have taken the compounding frequency. And this is the effective annual interest rate which we have worked it out. And we have also discussed that what is the use of this uh, effective interest rate that in case you can see that uh, here all the annual interest rate, nominal interest rate is 5% for these uh, initial four loans. But when we calculate the effective annual interest rate by taking into consideration the compounding years, then we can find that the interest rate for this particular loan, fourth one is higher. So that is the use of uh, calculating the effective annual rate, uh, annual interest rate. Now using this same data, we will find out the nominal rate. So nominal rate for that go to function tab and insert the nominal function. I will choose it from here itself and then put the effective rate and then put the number of compounding periods. So in this first case it is one. So you can see and then we have to convert this field into percentage. So for that uh, you need to click right click and go to format cell in format cell choose the percentage here you can change the decimals also to up to what decimal places you want so i have selected two only so nominal interest rate for this first loan is five percent and then when we can drag it you will find that we are able to get the nominal interest rate for all the loans which is similar to the nominal interest rate which we have used in the calculation of effective annual interest rate so I hope uh, this video makes some sense to you and uh, thanks for watching my video and please subscribe.